A telly. Hi, my name is John, aka Smelly Telly, and they have finally put me in my comfort zone. I love tellies. I'm here in Evansville, Indiana at uh, More Music, MoreGuitars.com, and today I am talking about this. See if I can get this right. The Fender American Professional 2. Looking for. Yes, he says I got that right. All right, so I have <laughs> just. Judging by my kind of handle name, I love tellies. I love them all. I love all guitars. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but I have kind of a special love for tellies, and I've been looking forward to playing this one ever since it was proposed to me that we should do a video on it. And I'm going to, and as I go through it, I'm going to kind of highlight on some things that I like, some things that are maybe a little bit different than the tellies that I typically play that uh, might be good for you and might not be so so great in my opinion, you know um, Just off of it is a phenomenal guitar. It sounds great. It plays great So we've got that out of the way we can talk about some of the specs and then some of the things that I kind of particularly like about it so in the professional to the American Fender professional to Telecaster They just did a few little upgrades from the original uh, American Professional Series, which has been very successful for them and has made a lot of guitar players very happy. Uh, let's talk about the neck. My favorite feature of the neck, and this is kind of a modern thing, and I'll be using the word modern in a couple of spots, is satin finish. This is great. All guitars should have a satin finish on the back. It just feels great. Never gets sticky, which is something that I've always had to deal with. I don't know why my hands always get a little sticky. Um, I use baby powder, just in case. Jeff Beck uses baby powder. I figured it's good enough for him. It's good enough for me. Um, and if you like the smell of baby powder, you like being in a band with me. And if you don't, then I'm, I apologize ahead of time. Uh, like I said, the neck is a little bit beefier than the previous year. It feels great. Um, I used to be somebody that I only liked beefy necks, but over the years, I've kind of found that my preference really, it does, just depends on the guitar. This is a very comfortable, you know, it's a little bit fuller feeling, fills up the hand a little bit. I think it's awesome. Fret wire wise, they've gone with the tall and narrow, which is cool. It's the most popular and most requested fret wire size from the Fender Custom Shop. Feels very good to me. Again, fret wire is not a huge, huge thing. You know, for me, I can kind of get around anything if it's a great guitar. But if I was gonna have one made, it's, this would, probably be the fret wire that I would go with. Uh, we get to the body, it's alder, and this one is painted in, what do, What color do we call this, Larry? So you know, if I saw a lake that, that was this color, I would want to dive into it immediately. Actually, knowing me, I would want to grab my fishing pole, to be honest, so. The pickups are the V-Mod 2s, and with this, your tone knob push, pressed down, this is just typical, standard, you know, traditional tele wiring. All the way down is bridge, in the middle are the two pickups in uh, parallel, and then when you're all the way up, it's the neck pickup. Now when you're in the middle position, and this is what it sounds like in middle position. You press this, and it pops up, and now you're in series. Parallel series, parallel, series. You know what, it's, it's louder. So kind of basically what it's doing when it's in the up position, it's kind of taking these two pickets and sort of turning it into a humbucker in a way. So you do get a little bit of that humbucker type of tone with it. Uh, I do not own a single telly that has that feature on it. So I cannot comment on if it's something I would use a lot or if I would like a lot. I don't know. I may have to try it sometime. Let's run through some of the other sounds. So I am unapologetically completely biased to Tele Bridge pickups. To me, 
it's the reason to own a tele. There are a lot of people out there that would disagree with me, but I, it's, so my main tele is a no caster relic, a custom shop fender. And the no caster relic bridge is my favorite pickup of all time. Not just favorite single coil, not just favorite tele. I love that pickup. It has a ton of character, which for me works really well. I think pickups like these V-Mod 2s though, they're gonna be a little bit more satisfying for maybe a, a wider range of people. They still have that classic bite to them, but they're a little bit more round, and I think that um, they're a little bit more full as far as like the, uh, the EQ and the frequency, and that's just from just strumming on it a little bit. You can still get those very, you know, telly sounds, especially if you pick down here. Um, and of course, we didn't talk about the bridge. The bridge is actually pretty traditional. I'm surprised to see that they've got brass saddles down here. And that, to me, does kind of also contribute to a little bit of uh, kind of a more traditional sound. But yeah, I love when I'm on the bridge pickup. I love to come down here, play right next to the saddle. Some of you that love that sound are loving it, and some of you are like, oh, please stop doing that. Let's go to the middle position just in standard tele wiring. And that's pretty much what they sound like in the middle position. We'll throw on in series, or sorry, uh, yeah, series. Definitely a lot beefier. Actually, I like that a lot. I may have to put that on one of my tellies. That's pretty cool. The neck. All right, don't shoot me. The neck position on a telly is not my favorite sound. There are people that live for it. It's just not my thing. Um, I definitely tend to prefer more vintage style tellies. And generally speaking, a bright sounding bridge is very hard to balance with, with a neck pickup. <laughs> These pickups balance with each other what, like a lot better than any of my tellies that are at home. But it's still about the bridge for me, sorry. All right, my overall impressions. So I've been given a little bit of a green light to give some of my impressions on these. It's a great playing and great sounding telly. Um, I think that if you're interested in getting your first telly, I think that this one definitely straddles the line between traditional and with modern, you know, things like, I don't want to glare too much, this little thing right here. So it's a contour here on the heel. That is a welcome addition, even from somebody that I love more traditional tellies. Um, coming up here to hit the high frets to D to D like we sometimes do as guitar players and hitting that corner with your palm. Well, that's a pain that I would not miss. I'll just put it that way. So I like that. I, I like it. And I like the, I actually do like the pickup wiring on this too. It's definitely got me thinking about maybe talking to our uh, tech here, Dave, about maybe seeing about putting something like this on one of my tellies. So that's, uh, this has actually been my first experience with the Fender American Professional 2 Telecaster. Overall, very impressed with it. Um, I think this is a great guitar. If you've never gotten a telly before and you're interested and you're looking for something that kind of straddles the line between traditional and modern, this is be a, a guitar definitely at least looking into. If you have any questions about this guitar or this line or 
any of the guitars that we carry, please just get a hold of us, call down here, talk to one of our sales guys. Today's salesperson will be Ed. He's a very nice fella and he's very smart. He's like smart. He's like super smart. He's like a lot smarter than I am. And he'd be happy to answer your questions as would all of our sales um, representatives. And then of course, get on our website, moreguitars.com to see pictures of this and look, maybe take a deeper dive into the specs of this and all the other models from this line. And I appreciate you all hanging out with me today. And my name is John and you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.